Hi. Um, again, if anyone saw that first video, I'm very sorry. It was absolutely terrible. So we are going to do a new one. This is what the eye is supposed to look like, this one right here. And we're going to do, I'm going to show you this one, and I don't know why the recording turned out so terrible, but let's get going. Um, so again, I'm going to be dotting the um, concealer anywhere that the eyeshadow will go. Rubbing it in. Applying a tad bit of chapstick anywhere the eyeshadow will go. Massaging in gently towards the corner of the eye. And again, I believe Burt's Bees, which is a cruelty-free company, um, puts out one of these. Again, I'm not being paid or not paid to um, pimp any of the uh, products I do. I just research this stuff. Now... I take um, my liner and what I do is I'm going to go um, from about here and I'm going to just draw a nice line right down into my eye line like that and it looks a little crooked but it's not going to turn out to be. I'm going to go from the lash line in and meet up with that line and I'm hoping everyone's seeing this because the video turned out terrible. Bring that up a little close. Yep, that's what I'm wanting. Okay. Okay, let me just... I'm going to put this down. Put this up. Again, my vision is pretty terrible, so I'm just going to borrow your eyes for a minute. So all I did was go over that line just to make it a little thicker because I like a nice thick, thick line. I actually have a hereditary condition called um, thinning retinas and basically what it does is it sets me up for blindness at an early age that can be surgically corrected. I hope everyone's seeing what I'm doing. Took some of the essence powder and I'll tell you the name in a second and I'm just sort of trying to make sure the camera's steady and just kind of gently touching it got it and I have a little let me borrow again my eyes Just went over that line just a tiny bit. Putting my pencil down, back to where you can see again. Using the trio, just as I did before, putting the brow bone pencil. Oh, by the way, this is Essence Eyeshadow, black and sparkly in Black Goddess 04 Sparkling Effect great products. They're very easy to work with and again they're cruelty free. They're great. So I'm going to go back over to my Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio. I'm going to smudge in my pink. Go over here, set it up so you can actually see what I'm doing so the video doesn't freak out again. And I'm rubbing all that pink right next to my line. Rubbing the pink, rubbing the pink. Going back over here, getting my little crease line, that lovely coffee bean color. And again, you can be nice and messy with your colors because blending is everything. Nice and smudgy. I'm going to go over here, dip it in the brow bone powder, and brow bone, yay! brow bone and under my eye because I've got these purple bags now is the thing that I want you to see which 
the video before totally ditched on me is blending. Take my finger and just simply work. I go in kind of a circular thing and I just literally blend it in. Just like that. Nothing fancy. Just rubbing my eye. And as you can see, I get the same effect on both sides. Now I'm going to take it a step further. Oh, um, also, the nail polish that I have on is also cruelty free. And it's Fergie Going Platinum. It's by Wet n Wild. Um, two coats to get what I have. Um, I just love it that they're able to make a nail polish that is cruelty free. I'm going to use the um, Fergie, um, this is called the Center Stage Collection, um, and this is uh, A044, um, this is Rose Golden Goddess. So let me get this opened up. This takes a bit. Um, the Center Stage Collection is a tiny bit messy, but it's great to work with. So I just take my Kabuki brush and I just kind of do that. And you get a little bit on the brush. And again, tilting down so you can actually see me. I, I do a nice big smile, a nice big fake smile. So you get the apples of your cheeks. And I go, I go over and get your uh, temples. It's always important so you don't have that like fake tan look. And that's my healthy glow look. And that only took seven minutes this time. So sorry about the video before. Thank you guys for watching. You can request any beauty tips, animal diet, animal facts. Um, again, I'm an animal behaviorist and I am a beauty blogger. So follow me on Instagram, twisted underscore glitter. There's a lot of stuff there. There's some very personal stuff and um, just a lot of, uh, basically it's about 90%, 95% um, animal related and beauty blogging stuff. Um, but there is a couple personal things there. Nothing uh, overwhelming, just uh, some of my days when I've had some health problems. I'll put something up like, oh, I had a seizure today and I feel like crap. But um, nothing uh, ultra personal or anything like that. So um, take care, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.